Hello, my name is Noel Kennedy. I'm a forestry advisor with Chagas. And I would like to just give a, sh a short overview of what's involved in planting a new forest. 19,000 landowners have become forest owners in Ireland over the past 25 years. They have taken a decision to plant some of their land and to convert it into forestry, providing timber production, biodiversity enhancement, social improvement in the local area, and for, m for many farmers, it has proved to be a very, very important alternative enterprise on land that they would have otherwise considered marginal. Under today's forestry planting grant schemes, a landowner is entitled to receive a planting grant to help with the establishment costs and the early management of the forest, and also an annual forestry premium to, I suppose, compensate for the fact that they have taken land out of agricultural production and to bridge that gap between planting and the first harvesting or the first thinning of the forest. The quality of the land is critical to the type of species and indeed the productivity of the forest that a landowner may be considering to plant. So the first thing that will have to be done is to assess the quality and type of land that for its suitability in relation to forestry. The land may well be suitable for forestry, but the type of species on which or for which it is suitable may be limited. Typically, uh, in Ireland, it is marginal agricultural land that is being planted, and that is being considered most suitable for the planting of conifer species such as Sitka spruce. In all our plantations that are today, there are very strict environmental guidelines in relation to setbacks from water courses, roadways, houses, open spaces are required for biodiversity, and the design and initial planning of the forest is critical to facilitate future timber harvesting. So in order to uh, advance your forestry plans, uh, talk to us in Chagas. Uh, we offer independent, objective, advice uh, in order to advance your grant application you will need to engage a registered forester. Uh, it is so important to emphasize that forest owners need to be involved, remain involved and we here in Chagas are, uh, will provide you with uh, support through uh, management advice and training uh, and other supports to just make sure that forest owner gets the best from their forest.